So this is how to get the ng command for Angular CLI to work globally. Even when you've installed it globally, it doesn't seem to be working. Now I've pulled up Stack Overflow, it has got an answer. I'll also show you something on mine that is another problem. So before I was getting ng is not recognized, blah, 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 really annoying on it globally. So basically on, on Stack Overflow here, if I come down, it's not the first one, it's like way down here, especially on Windows, you want to go to the app data roaming. And I'm going to press Windows and R, and I've already got it in here, percentage app data, percentage, and navigate to the relevant directory. And you should see, so after roaming, npm. Okay, it might way down here. And if you've got the ng.cmd file in here, then you want to take your directory path and we want to put it into an environment variable path. So I'm going to press the Windows key and just type environment, edit this system environment variables. And let's go down to environment variables, bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go to path and then I'm going to tab. I'm using my keyboard, so hopefully you can follow, but maybe I should use the mouse. Press edit and then press new. I'm simply pasting in the directory location of that npm directory that had the ng.cmd command file in it. So, OK that, OK this, and OK that. So just make sure you OK all of those. OK, I'll make sure now I close the CMD, Windows key, type CMD. I would always run as administrator, so right click, and run as administrator when you're installing stuff like this. And let's go back. Let's change directory, change directory, and then go to users. I know I could do this a bit better, bear with me. <laughs> and then right, npm install dash g, and I'm going to do dash f for force, and angular forward slash cli. I'm going to do a global installation, but this time I've already got the path set. I'm just going to run it again just to be sure. Okay, so that's finished now. I just pause for a moment and then let's try, uh, let's see, NGV, see if that is working. Okay, fine. I just was doing the wrong command and I just want to press yes to opt into the analytics and we are good to go. You can see I've got Angular CLI up and running. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.